Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be checking out Thermal Take booth and um, they have like a lot of really really cool products along the way and also really cool mods and as you can see behind me right here, this is it man, this is it. I can't wait to show you guys because it's gonna be really cool, a lot of cool mods and a lot of cool new products as well. Let's go check it out. Hey, I know this guy. Who are you? Hi. Indy Laser, right? Today we are going to check out your booth, well, Thermal Takes booth. Yeah. Check out your, your scratch build, no, no, your 1490 um, build. Ah, okay. But first, I want to look at uh, the cool new products. Hello, Moto Pro. We'll check out his uh, build as well. So as you can see here, from right to left, we got many different mods on the desk. And uh, of course, we've seen this one before. I've made a video on this, and also I've made a video on these two as well. But check it out, guys. This is from uh, JP Modified. He is uh, the actual uh, winner of the MFC, and wow, and look at that. This is like super, super really cool. And apparently, it also spins as well. Let's get really um, close up a little bit. So we got this uh, really cool like gun barrel here. And as you notice that this, this core P90 case is like slightly slanted. And uh, obviously on the right hand side, there's also like a, a gun barrel as well. We got some really cool um, fittings and tubes and water cooling, radiator on the left hand side and the motherboard is actually upside down. That's pretty interesting. And uh, check out the base, man. Look at this. This is like really interesting. It's like, it's very like a mechanical um, style. And uh, I think this is all like CNC cut. Uh, I'll put the link in the description down below how like he created this mod. It's really, really cool. And uh, let's check out the little details of this. So Jesse Palacio, winning modder, so congratulations to JP Modified. So on the right hand side here, I actually talked about this um, in, the, in my previous video. You can check it out, uh, link over here. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is the, uh, the Hammerhead mod by uh, Su Chao. And uh, yeah, that's his name, Su Chao Pao Pong. Pretty cool, right? And uh, obviously, it's, it's, it's spectacular. It's, it's massive, like seriously. Um, this is like the size of my hand and it goes all the way up there. Really love it how like he puts the graphics card right on top over here and like the two radiators and like the two reservoirs on each side and uh, obviously you know you want to show out the really cool thermal takes um, fans, fittings, tubes and also the the graphics card as well. And check out like the little details guys it's like really really nicely done so um, moving on to the to the left side here this is by Mother Crow obviously this is the core p90 but the cool thing about this one is that it is inverted what I mean is like um, normally if you want to build the core p90 you have to be building on the other side so look at this really um, sophisticated design and like the tubes and like fittings and like the way how he like routed all of the the, the water cooling parts. It's really, really nice and compact all together. And uh, yeah, the power supply is down there. Graphics card, motherboard behind. Let's check out at the back for a second. So as I mentioned earlier, if, if you want to build on the Core P90, you have to be building on this side. But like again, I, as I mentioned, he decided to build like on the other side. So this is pretty cool. This is like actually supposed to be the front, but he decided to put the radiator at the back, the really cool reservoir, obviously the fans and some really like complex uh, spaceship design kind of thing and uh, moving on to over here uh, I guess we can start from the back we've seen this guy already I mean this mod already this is by Indie Laser and apparently you can put your hand in here check it out you can put it here and then uh, you can actually lift it up as well so basically this mod is based on uh, I think an Asus uh, mascot and uh, the project name is called God Hand because you can put your hand inside here and check out all these like um, indicators on the right, on the left hand side. But I guess we should look in front actually. So moving to the front, as you can see that we got two big reservoirs on top and a two big D5 pumps, a graphics card here by Asus. And as you can see, there's like a custom water cooling loop in front as well. Really cool, it's a really cool design. It's more like a type of like cyborg or some kind of a space uh, spaceship or that kind of thing but of course you have to wear it on your arms and stuff and uh, moving on to the left hand side here this is actually not the MFC this is uh, I'm not sure but like um, it's by Mike Samson yeah he's from uh, Philippines and as you can see this is uh, the Core P90 as well one of the very nice uh, slim design that uh, he actually did and uh, I'm not sure if this is on but like I really like how like uh, all of these like fittings and like um, that is like kind of hanging out 
so it looks like you know it's it's kind of like a a, a veinish type of thing and uh, we got some really cool like um uh, acrylic cutouts over here as well and uh, check out the stand guys i really do like how thin it is i mean it's supposed to be like a triangular but i guess like he used like the base of it let's check out on the other side so on the other side we can see that there's a radiator and there's like a fan and a reservoir and a pump but it looks great it looks it looks amazing so guys meet mike um he's actually doing a little photo shoot right now so we have another mod right here and uh, it's by uh matthew yeah and uh it seems like he's like trying to aim for a very minimalistic and very uh, very slick design here so as you can see there's not much going on here but then you have a really nice texture on the right hand side here MFC2 water cooled mod and on the left hand side here again you can see like all this really um, compact build the motherboard the graphics card with this really cool texture over here and uh, obviously the power supply here this is probably one of those things that you would put in like the living room or like on the corner probably like impress a lot of your friends oh so that's kind of interesting here so on the left hand side here we see uh, a radiator and the radiator is white actually I think he put like some uh, some kind of a sticker with four fans a reservoir and a pump here so very very nice and clean minimalistic uh, design and mod that he uh, actually did so moving on to the so the very very left uh, hand mod is the uh, again the Core P90 by Peter Brands, and I uh, really do loving this because I'm uh, it's it still sticks to the the Core P90 concept, but as you notice that like the glass is a little bit different. It's uh, normally if, if the glass would be like um, there's gonna be a gap here, but then he decided to have like. Uh, closing gap so that's really interesting I think he's going for more of a, a white and black build very sophisticated because uh, there's a lot of tubing and a lot of little things that he put in as well the graphics card is right here and uh, obviously this is the motherboard with like a uh, thermal takes fittings and tubes and all that and uh, yeah let's check out on the back side so the back side you can see like one massive radiator two reservoirs two pumps and look at like how many fittings he used guys look at this so many this is another mod by um, Mike Peterins, all right, and um, obviously this case is the Core P5 and it's been around for a while, but as you can see that he actually uh, made a pretty cool mod based on the Audi. As you can see, there's like a, a logo here, the, the four circles or the four rings, and uh, I guess he's going for the white, black, and red theme, and check it out. It looks pretty cool. It's more like, it's more like uh, trying to have like some kind of a car system speaker like on the bottom and it's and it's like nicely like slanted as well if you notice Audi e-tron moving on here this is uh, this mod is by Alex Banks and uh, it's a, the tower 900 build and uh, you can see that this is like more of a acrylic style and mixed with like silver like um, coverage which looks kind of cool like it's like it's one of those like a uh, uh, futuristic um, style and of course we can see these like a uh, massive radiator on the left hand side with like RGB oh check it out guys you can see like all these cables are routed towards like downwards it's very nicely done very very nicely cable managed and um, over here as well it goes up to there let's check out on the other side oh as you can see here he actually made a, a custom water reservoir or like yeah this this is pretty damn cool you know he actually filled like a really massive um, reservoir that has like uh, liquid water running running down and towards the radiator we have another mod here this is the view 91 mod by Eric and check it out guys this is like a beast man this is like a pretty damn damn big computer and look at how like the sophisticated and water cooling setup he actually made and two reservoirs uh, one graphics card two d5 pumps one massive actually two massive radiators and like a bunch of fans around here this is a massive mod with like a uh, pretty cool painting job as well hey what's up how's it going so I don't know if this is a, a reservoir but like I don't really want to touch it actually wait oh no no this is this is nothing this is just like a for show but yeah that's cool and uh, oh actually th this th this uh, one two three four radiators my bad that's uh my mistake moving on to the MJ mod by MJ the core p90 and as you notice that it looks a little bit different as a core p90 the reason why is because it's actually uh, lying down so and uh, one, one cool thing about this um, build is that I really do like the texture 
and check it out. You can feel that it's like, I don't know what, what kind of texture is this. It's like really nice and rough. And you get this like white stuff as well. We got some really cool like nice RGB lights going on here. And uh, yeah, obviously we got the really nice sponsors by Thermaltake, Intel, Asus, Team Group and all that. The level 20 guys, the level 20. So apparently level 20, um, 20 means like the 20th anniversary of uh, Thermaltake. And I guess we can work our way from right to left and I uh, can't wait to go through that one. So, so the right one as you can see is a massive uh, case and you can see that there's like three compartments and this is the level 20, um, I think it's just, just level 20, yeah, it's just called level 20. So level 20 you can see that there's three compartments and it's uh, all aluminum, so nicely uh, three millimeter thick. And as you can see here on the right hand side, you can put like a radiator and your uh, reservoir and your pump. And uh, I guess like obviously over there you can put like uh, the motherboard side and also the power supply side. So this is a very relatively big case. Let's check out on the other side here. So that's the back side or the left side. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, okay, this is a better view actually. So this is the power supply here. This is the CPU, graphics card, and the motherboard located. And I guess one cool thing about this is that the airflow must be pretty good because every compartment has its own airflow. And uh, I guess like, you know, for the cooling performance or like for the hardware performance, it's probably the most optimized over here. I guess this is the little brother of the Level 20, but they call it the Level 20 GT RGB. So I guess it comes with RGB fans, that's my guess. But as you can see here, there's still like a, the style of like um, the level 20 around here. So it's very similar to that design, but obviously there's only one compartment where uh, every, every hardware is like fit together. Yeah, moving on to this, this one right here. This is the level 20 XT. I'm actually loving this because it actually looks like a coffee table. If you actually put it on the ground and you put like a couch here and you can put your coffee here, it looks pretty cool. I really do like it. So I think this case, it supports EATX because um, as you can see here, the, the motherboard tray is pretty massive. As you can see here, this is the graphics card on the left hand side. And over here, there's like, uh, yeah, you can see that they installed the nice T-Force RAM. So I guess you have so much room for like water cooling and like, you know, there's uh, a lot of airflow going on as well. You can put like um, crazy like, you know, water cooling loops here because you have so much space, a lot of space. Moving on to the last case, this is the Level 20 VT. And I'm actually looking forward to this launch because I'm really interested in this case. Look at it, this is like, um, apparently this is a micro ATX uh, build. So uh, you can actually water cool it, you have a lot of space. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually look from the top. That's pretty cool, right guys? So if you have like a custom water-cooled build, you can actually show off your, your custom water-cooled build on top. It's, it looks really decent as well. And as you notice that there's like gaps over here, I think it's good for airflow. And uh, obviously, with the orientation of this motherboard, you have to mount the graphics card vertically. I really do like this case and um, looks super premium. Obviously, this is all the level 20 uh, cases. Same design, same style with this really nice brushed aluminum panel over here. Actually, wait. I don't think this is brushed aluminum, guys. I think this is plastic. But okay, whatever. It kind of looks like a brushed aluminum. So that's pretty cool. I'm still digging that. I really like it. This is another product. And as you can see that there's RGB everywhere. And um, I think this place is called the, the Ecosystem or the TT Ecosystem. So basically we have all these RGB products. But like the cool thing about this is that you can control everything simultaneously. So with like the Thermal Takes product with the keyboard, the mouse, fans, CPU block. All this can be controlled and then you can do like a, a spectrum wave like moving towards like a one, in a, one on the other. If you really want to go full-blown RGB, here it is guys. So Chi is going to show us a little bit of uh, the Thermal Takes uh, RGB Chroma, right? Can you tell us a little bit of a, a background of this of this thing? I remember yesterday you mentioned about like you were co-branding with a Razer or? GT RGB Plus yeah. the software. Okay. And also the Chroma ah, I software. See. They can sync together. They can sync together? Yes. Wow, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a sample. Okay, yeah. Okay. You can see this will be the old 
PC components okay. of Thermatech. Yeah. Okay. Including also other portfolios like keyboards. Okay. Yeah. And you you have one of the Razer mouse here. Yeah, Razer mouse. Yeah. Which all of itself they have the in-game lighting patterns, right? In-game lighting patterns. Yeah. Okay. So you can you can see when you play the games. Yeah. The whole system will also go with the games. Ah, I see. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's so this great. is how we cobert together yeah, and let together. two softwares can talk to each other. Yeah, thanks very much, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Do. Yeah. All right, everybody. So I guess this is the Thermal Takes coverage of my own version. So it's pretty cool. If you are uh, interested in like Thermal Takes products, you should check out their website. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Mm -hmm.